Hi, Coach Tom Avery here, head pro at the Consistent Tennis Wins Academy in Naples, Florida, and a USPTA elite professional. Today's lesson is on the similarities and differences between the forehand and the one-handed and two-handed backhand. So stay tuned. Similarities and differences between the forehand and the one and two-handed backhand. Let's talk about the similarities first. Okay, for both shots, you're going to want to coil. So from the ready position, whether you're hitting a forehand or a backhand, you know, you're coiling the upper body and you're stepping in with the lead foot, okay? Same thing on the backhand. You see a backhand coming, you're turning, you're coiling, and actually the take back on the backhand is even more. So you'll even come back further with the racket. I don't recommend going beyond this with a forehand on the backswing, but on a, on a uh, backhand, you can come back beyond that. You can bring the racket back a lot further. So um, those are the similarities. Basically, you want to stay as loose as possible. You want to be loose and relaxed so your racket generates racket head speed. So turning and coiling, Stepping in with the lead foot and staying loose and relaxed are the similarities. The uh, differences now, main difference is the contact point between the forehand and the one-handed backhand. For the two-handed backhand, the contact point is going to be about the same as if you were hitting a forehand with your non-dominant hand. So, what's the difference? Okay, from Let's say with a forehand, you're just in front of the lead foot, okay? Right out in front of my lead foot. So if I was hitting the ball in that direction, I'm stepping in, boom, here's my contact, right in front of that lead foot. Now, the one-handed backhand, and you'll also notice my elbow is slightly bent. Now you can have an extended arm, but that's personal preference. Most players hit with a slightly bent elbow, and you're hitting just in front of that lead foot. So with a one-hander, you're hitting further in front, and the arm is fully extended, okay? So you can see the difference there. This is the contact point on the forehand here, and here's the one-handed backhand. You've got to hit it further in front, okay? So a good foot, to a foot and a half in front of the lead foot. So those are, that's you know the main difference, okay? Now, the other thing is when you hit a forehand, you know, the arm is coming across the body, okay? So what's happening there, you're gonna get a little pinch up here in your shoulder, okay? So you gotta kinda mm, get, that, get that shoulder through on the forehand. The beauty of the one-hander is the arm is going away from the body. So you're, you're just swinging away from your body. It's a very effortless type shot. Whereas the forehand, you know, it takes a little, a little bit of oomph to get the arm through there because you'll feel that little pinch in the front of your shoulder on a forehand. So th those are some of the differences. Remember, with a two-hander, it's very similar to hitting a, a regular forehand, but you're just hitting it with your non-dominant hand. Let me just show you uh, in some demos the slight differences you're going to see. Okay, watch the shoulder turn. See right here, as soon as I see I've got a forehand, I'm turning the shoulders, getting a little step there with the left foot. And now here's a side view. Turn the shoulders, rotate, step in, and boom, right there at the moment of contact, slightly in front of the lead foot. And right here is where the shoulder's feeling that slight pinch in the front of the shoulder as the racket hits through. Okay, watch the one-hander. 
slow motion, you're going to see the contact point is well out in front. Boom, right there. You can see the ball's a good foot to a foot and a half out in front of my lead foot. So, and notice too, the arm is fully extended, the hitting arm. The arm's going away from the body. Okay, watch the two-hander in slow motion. And what we're going to be looking at is the contact point. And right there, she's just about to hit the ball. The ball is just in front of her lead foot. Notice too, Stephanie is a left-hander. Her right shoulder now, you can see how the muscles in her right arm are contracted because she's feeling that little pinch in the front of her right shoulder right now as she's hitting through. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, uh, hit the like button, or post any comments or questions you may have. I'll do my best to answer them. If you want instant access to my free serve course and my free rock solid forehand course, find those links in the description below or up here. You're going to find one in your left hand corner. All the best. Have a good one.